Hello Victoria, this is Justin Carter coming at you from cvvmagazine.com and CVV Magazine is proud to be a sponsor of the Spark Festival being put on by the Belfie Theatre and I had a chance to sit down with the Artistic Director of the Belfie Theatre, Michael Shimada. Well, it's going to be another fantastic year of uh, great, innovative, uh, unique pieces of theatre from across the country. Starting with uh, a piece called A Brimful of Asha, a man named Ravi Jain, who's in his 20s, uh, with his mother, Asha Jain, who's never been on a stage before. His parents are trying to arrange uh, a marriage for him with a, a lovely East Indian girl from back home. What, you need your parents to find a girl? Ravi and his mother kind of try to uh, sway the sympathy of the audience uh, to their side of the, to, to, to see their side of this, um, of this kind of generational divide and this cultural divide. It's a, it's a remarkable evening. They did it first at the Tarragon Theatre in Toronto and it was so successful. They brought it back at the end of that season. They brought it back again the next year. The audience has just uh, eat it up. I can't imagine uh, my mother arranging my marriage That'd no, be a little. I don't think any of us could imagine <laughs> our mothers arranging our marriages. Now, there's one that I read, uh, the one, the Tarantino-esque one. I am a mission bird, hollow bones, thriving, flourishing in the time when everyone had to put it all on the line. Oh my Irma, this is this remarkable young actress named Haley McGee, uh, remarkable young lady who has written this piece and performs it as a one-person show. It's a very, very dark, <laughs> very dark comedy. Uh, she is fantastic. It's a great story. It's, it, it is. It's as if you took um, Tarantino and turned it into a kind of fable. It's, it's like a fable in a way. It's quite beautiful because it's all fueled with this, this need for, for love and for connection with, uh, with a parent. Then you also have uh, one which is also, that's, that's a bit dark too, but it's a love story and, you know, it's the f based on the, the myth, right? That's of right, that's right. Uh, of Eurydice and, uh, and Orpheus. So um, this young woman is looking for her husband who has disappeared and so she descends into the depths of hell <laughs> looking for him. It's a company out of Calgary called Ghost River Theatre, directed by a fantastic young director named Eric Rose. Uh, they've played it nationally and internationally to, to great, great acclaim. It's... Um, it is very beautiful to look at. Yeah, I saw some of the video. So it's multifaceted. You've got dance, you've got acting, you've got music, you've got visualization. Like, it, it really looks very, very beautiful. Little One is written by Hannah Moscovich, who wrote the Russian play, which we did a couple of seasons ago during the Spark Festival. Hannah is the the hot writer in Canada right now. She uh, Tarragon Theatre has just finished doing a, um, a whole little mini Hannah Moscovich Festival, which included Little One. This actor, Joe Cobden, is remarkable. He's just so, you could sit and listen to him for three hours just talking to us. He's so warm and engaging, and he's trying to tell this really difficult story of, of he and trying to, trying to deal with his sister, who he loves, but who is very troubled, and um, she, she kind of just destroys this guy's life, doing all the wrong things but desperate, desperate to make a connection with, with her brother, like to, to show her brother that she loves him. And uh, man, does she pick the wrong ways to do it. Uh, the things we do for love. The things we do, <laughs> the wrong things we do for love. <laughs> now, the wonderful thing about uh, Spark Festival is that not only do you get these wonderful shows, uh, there's a bunch of free stuff, there isn't is. there? What is that all about? Spark Festival's two weeks, starting on Monday. So the first Monday, we start at seven o'clock with a play reading and the next Monday we'll do another one. The first play reading is by Jan Wood, local actress, fantastic actress, and she's written a play called Sacrifices, which is um, loosely based on the Medea story. And the second week the reading is a new play by Carmen Aguirre, and it's a play called The Trial of Tina Medotti. It's a piece we've been developing with Carmen. Uh, this is a, based on a true story. This woman, Tina Medotti, had this remarkable life. Uh, so Carmen's been investigating that and that's going to be read by Jennifer Lyons and Carmen will be here as well. And, uh, so that's the second Monday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. There are three free mini plays in the first week, three different mini plays in the second week. Mini plays are 10 minute plays that are created by Victoria based companies located in kind of weird places around the building. Suddenly Dance Theatre is doing one, Puente Theatre is doing one, Brian Linz has a piece that's all about sound. This year the, the mini plays are being connected by the uh, six senses, so each mini play is based on one of the six senses. Those are free and they're fantastic. They're usually very limited capacity because of the spaces that they perform in, so you want to get here a little bit early and you get a kind of a token that's your 
your ticket to that mini play. And it's, it's uh, just getting into them is kind of half the fun. There's also a professional development, one, uh, one two-day professional development workshop that's going to be very special for actors, designers, directors, uh, theater creators in the community to take part in. Excellent. Well, that's great. Well, thanks very much, Thank Michael. You, Justin. Thank you very much for taking the time. <laughs> My pleasure. Take care. So the Spark Festival this week, starting Monday, March 11th to March 24th. For more information, you can go to belfry.bc.ca or sparkfestival.ca. That's it for me. Justin, I'm out.